Welcome to Get Wed, a podcast to plan your wedding by. I'm Katie. And I'm Kerry. And we're both here as professional photographers and brides-to-be to help you plan your big day. Each week we'll discuss a topic that you encounter along your wedding planning journey. And with the help of fellow industry experts, we'll navigate this crazy wedding world together. together. Hi everyone! Hello everybody! We are back again. <laughs> this is the third week in a row of just me and Katie. You lot are very spoiled. I know. <laughs> we love talking. <laughs> <laughs> we promise we'll have guests soon, but for now, just please put up with our voices. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, and I have a really bad, well, not a really bad cold, but I've got a cold, so I sound a little bit kind of nasally, so I apologise as well. I'm, I'm going to try not to like snot and sneeze. And <laughs> That's be really, disgusting. really attractive. You might not want to watch this week on, on um, YouTube. Just <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> and to anyway, entertain you yeah. further there's a fly in my room which I thought I just got out but he has managed to come back so, so have you seen Kerry just like whacking an invisible <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We're, we're great this week we're doing really well <laughs> <laughs> um, so we thought we'd have a little chat about invites this week mm-hmm. because I don't know about you but I found them really really hard and just kind of getting the concept of what you're going to do and then trying to print them. And then maybe if you're doing them yourself, trying to put them all together and post them is just a huge, huge mission. I don't know. Have you have you got that far yet, Kerry? No, yours? I haven't. I've got as far as doing our save the dates. So most of them have gone out. I've still got a few people. Like There's like random aunts and uncles who addresses I don't know and I keep asking my dad for. And he's like, yeah, I'll do that. And I'm like, where's their address yeah give me the address. <laughs> you never had so many like addresses in your yeah. life all of a sudden like your address book is actually you do you know what? Like... i've never had an address book before now but oh. i went out and i bought one beautiful i feel like an actual real grown-up now yeah. <laughs> it's true it's quite good for, for getting everybody's addresses yeah. in your life because i normally if i need someone's address i'll just send them a message and i like a text message then i'll get a text message and then i forget where i've put the address and so now yeah, it's no, all in one place like a real organized adult <laughs> and would remind us what you did for your save the dates so i had an illustration drawn up of me russell and tag the dog um which was made by um i can't remember her name now but she's on etsy and i'll put a link in the show notes um nice. i haven't got one to hand i was a show you and i don't want to get up because i'm wearing jogging bottoms <laughs> <laughs> but basically it was um an illustration of the three of us um and then I put them on fridge magnets and I sent them out that way so everyone so everyone's put them on their fridges which is quite sweet that's Um, a really nice idea yeah I thought it was something a bit different yeah um, so they've gone down really well everyone's really enjoyed them but the thing with invites I haven't even started doing them but what worries me is that as soon as you make them that kind of sets your theme for the day that's very true. And I know lots of brides actually have been, and um, there was one that had a really cool teepee and she kind of wanted that to be the surprise, mm. but then also thought that might be quite a cool aspect to have either illustrated on the invites or have like little teepee invites or mm-hmm. something. So I think that you're right. It's quite hard actually to sort of think, should we give away everything or yeah. does that set the theme? And it is very hard actually. And like, what if you change your mind? Like we've still got eight months now, just under eight months. So what if I go, yep, yeah, right, this is what we're going to do. And then I think, actually, I don't like that idea anymore. And then I've already sent out my invites. Yeah. It's, Ooh, it's like committing to something really serious. <laughs> that's true. That's why I, I think we went we went quite plain just for that reason, really, because it, it is really, really hard. So, mm. But your invites yeah. are really cute. Tell us about your invites. Oh, thank you. Um, well, for our Save the Dates, I just made little postcards. And we used um, printed.com for them. They were really good. Mm-hmm. And um, I did a little like train. Try to think if I've got one to hand. I'll, I'll put it on the show. Notes. Um, she um, can't stand up either because she's wearing jogging bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might, I might have it. Should I quickly grab it? Go and go and grab it. Okay, okay. I'll feel the time. This fly in my room has got even more irritating now. I'm going to have to find it and get it out. I don't know where he's gone. <laughs> she's finding something. Here we go. Okay, so guys so. if you are listening to us on the podcast you might just want to go home and watch us on youtube so you can see katie's invites now she's about to hold them <laughs> up on skype so that we can um, show you on youtube so. <laughs> i couldn't find my save the dates but i did find the invites so we went very very plain and rustic so oh, these I are like kind of a rusticy brown and i just literally did, did all the typing and stuff myself because mm-hmm. we're quite lucky we can do photoshop can't yeah we? 
so some people aren't quite as fortunate as that but um and then we did little train tickets because obviously we were getting married at a train station so mm. I just had some train tickets but they confused people a bit because I literally ripped off an actual train ticket and some people thought we'd actually paid for them to come oh, really? the train, <laughs> which is also because I was like oh well they must look really good then <laughs> but um but yeah sorry we, we were too tight to do that so um that wasn't the case but um that's yeah, a really good way of tying in your venue I like that yeah yeah and I, f- I found all that quite quite fun mm. um but it is it is tricky I think I found it fun to a point and then I just kind of wanted them done and they were yeah. driving me a bit mad did you, so you did everything yourself <laughs> yes so yeah so designed everything and then got it printed professionally mm. and then just put it all together with like some ra- is it raffia like sort of, oh, yeah, um, um, I sort of tied to that yeah and it actually once you're okay once you kind of got them all and you've got your addresses and then you create like a little system of like just production lines together. yeah <laughs> literally, yeah, literally a production line and just kind of bosh them out but I think it's just saying right this evening we're going to be good and we're going to do them because otherwise yeah it's so hard to find the time mm-hmm. and being bothered to do it to be honest <laughs> well but I've I still think... got to say the dates to go out so I feel you're yeah <laughs> that's that's a hard thing too and once you you put out a few I think you're very conscious that you you kind of need to get them all don't yeah. you so you don't get confused and mm. so uh, it's that horrible thing of having to be really organized and write everyone and tick them off and, yeah ugh. so what about um like wording and stuff like I haven't got as far as doing like the wording I, I haven't even figured out what I'm going to do at all for my invites as you can <laughs> tell I'm very organized um but with your wording on your invites what was it how did you write it because I know that traditionally isn't it usually the parents in I don't think how it's yeah. usually worded like it's usually um, like so and so's parents invite you to join yeah I'm trying to see if I've got any around me I haven't at the moment I've only got say the dates but um but yeah normally it's it's traditionally isn't it the, the parents invite everybody and kind mm. of word it in that way um but no we we didn't do that because we were doing a lot of the kind of organizing and stuff ourselves really yeah so uh, I think that's where, so, where you're gonna go I think where, it, maybe yeah. if your parents are um yeah paying for the wedding or have lots of involvement then I think that's maybe where that wording on an invitation comes from yeah um that's but, what I always kind of assumed yeah. if, they're, if they're planning quite a bit with you as well then you mm. know to go that way but um we, we just literally said you know, Katie and Jack invite you, would like to invite you to either like their day or evening. Yeah. And then we just literally was remembering to change the wording and oh, and the spelling as well. <laughs> I swear I'm dyslexic because I, there was a batch that I spelled, I spelled it wrong. Oh, and we no. got back and I was literally like, no, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> I remember what I did, I did something really silly. So I would say always check spelling if you're going to do it yourself <laughs> as well. Um, I've just, had a, I've just had a look online and I found that traditional wording. So it would be like, Mr. and Mrs. Jones request the pleasure of your company at the marriage of their daughter to, and then the groom's name at church on and afterwards at the reception. So that's right. the traditional way to word it. But yeah, I guess I'd rather, I think we're planning to do it how you've done it is in Kerry and Russell would like to invite you to their wedding because they've paid for yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, and do you think you'll kind of design and do all the bits yourself or will you get a company to yeah, do it? Yeah, I really for? want to do it myself. I feel like yeah. I'm taking on way too much myself. But. Well, no, I, I think as long as you stagger it, that's the thing. As long yeah. as you, you plan it in good time, then you're, you're so, fine. Like, it might take you an evening or something maybe to mm. design something. Or one of my friends, um, Emma, whose wedding you're shooting, Kerry, oh, yeah. I know she, she found a really nice thing. Oh, I'm trying to think what she... She got, like, a template and mm-hmm. did it herself. So there's always that, too. So you don't have to write from scratch have a blank canvas you can go online and find yeah. some really lovely templates and hers was lovely so mm. so there's that too I like I do love the idea of doing it myself I can see the benefit of going through a professional stationer and like them kind of knowing exactly what to do and um sorry that flyer is right in my face again <laughs> <laughs> and them knowing exactly what to do and like the wording and they can kind of make sure everything's printed perfectly and all that sort of stuff and they can even put it together for you and get it out in the post but I guess if you're trying to save yourself some money and things then it's a going the DIY route is probably yeah nice. but also and like actually, creativity create 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 I can't talk creativity creativity create creativity <laughs> cre- <laughs> creatively creativity <laughs> creatively uh, oh creatively yeah sorry. I guess um because <laughs> I'm quite creative I like the idea of doing that myself yeah no yeah. I agree <laughs> I was just gonna say some people choose to do the whole thing online so I've seen that as well actually That's so idea some people literally, you know, get rid of, I, th- I think you probably have to pay a small amount, 
but I have seen a few that have literally been you know you get sent an email and then you open it online and it's the invites there oh how modern yeah. That's very modern, isn't it? And that's quite eco-friendly, I it's suppose. It's very eco-friendly, but I don't think our elderly relatives will know how that works. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I hadn't really thought of that, actually. Yeah. And another friend, she just sent, like, literally one sort of um, plain, like, little bit of just the, the sort of details, and then it had a website, and then you went online to their wedding website that had everything. Ah, so they've idea. Got those, they've got even, like, car shares, if you want to car share with people, what gifts they'd like, like, that's everything. Clever like introductions to all the bridal party Every, I was really impressed by that I thought that took quite a lot of time I reckon but yeah so that was great so you just log on and then it's got everything that you know if it's a cash bar all these little questions mm. and stuff as well so, so you know, that's really clever because also it's a matter of saving a bookmark online and then if they like the day before which everyone always does like where what time is it yes. is it a cash bar and they're running around trying to find the invitation I suppose if it's all online that's a really good way to do it yeah, and in the long run, I guess that saves you a lot of effort because, you you know, if people haven't read it, you just have to say, go on the website. But <laughs> most people would look at the invite and go, oh, look, oh, we just go on the website and that's got yeah. all your questions and answers. That's and... such a good idea. I might do that. Yeah. I might steal that idea. So, yeah. Do you know what um, another good idea is, is to collect your RSVPs online? Oh, that's... Can you do that? I, I imagine think. you probably could, couldn't you? Could you put something online saying RSVP here? Oh, no, that's actually what we did for the for the website one, actually. So, yeah, you're right. So, mm. yeah, you just let you log on with your details and that's it. And then it's all, yeah, which must be so much easier if you've got, like, an online list. Yeah. Rather than hundreds of these. As much as it is quite nice to get them in the post, it's quite exciting to yeah. be like, oh, who is rsvp But do you know what I love about what you've done and... there is that you've put that RSVP card in. So all they've got to do is literally write their names and ticket. Sometimes yeah. when you're given a wedding invitation, you're not given, you have to go out and find an RSVP, like wedding acceptance card or wedding, what's the other one, if you can't accept? I don't oh, know. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't decline. know. Is there a wedding, <laughs> a wedding decline card? Like you have to actually yeah. go out and find a wedding acceptance card, write it and send it. And sometimes when I've been to like Paper Chase and like some shops, I'll literally find one option of card and it's always something really crap. And I think, oh, I've got to send that. And then yeah. I never get around to getting to the shop to buy one. I've always been the worst RSVP in the world. <laughs> because it's just no. so difficult the I mean I felt bad too because a lot of people include them and then it's like an envelope and it paid postage oh, no. with like your address and everything and we didn't do that either because we were trying to save money <laughs> but I think yeah that's quite if you make it really simple I think yeah. you're more likely to get a return yeah if you make it hard for people they're, they're not going to remember to do it mm -hmm. and sadly and it will drive you mad I think I might do the option of RSVPing in a little card like what you've done so a yeah. little RSVP card or they can RSVP online. That's a good idea. I'm going to go both. Just, otherwise, you'll just get people Facebooking you anyway, probably. Yeah. So, or texting you and, and you know then trying I'm, to keep track. And I'm not really that bothered about getting cards. Like Some people really love the whole wedding acceptance card thing, don't they? And put them up around the house. Whereas I, that just annoys me. Yeah, <laughs> just more, more clutter. Yeah. <laughs> and I, like, I loved getting engagement cards when we got engaged. I really like yeah. that. But they came through like for months. They just trickled through. And I was like, when do we take them down? <laughs> Yeah, We've well, been engaged for like four months. There is, yeah, there is no kind of... And then you feel really sad when you do take them down. It's yeah. like, oh. <laughs> I think it's the same with wedding cards. It's like, I want to leave them up for ages, but yeah. you can't. <laughs> it's true. But I guess doing the RSVP thing online or with those little cards is going to save the environment too. Yeah, that's true. And I think it's just easier... I mean, it it was really hard, like going through and counting them all, and mm. yeah, it's a bit, little bit of a nightmare. As much as it's fun to get them back, and then there's always the elusive person that you have to nag as well. Me. So there's the joys of that to come. Yeah, the <laughs> Kerry, so you have to you have to nag for a reply. Uh, it's so I just I just find the whole I just find it a difficult process, not only for you as the bride, but also as the guest, because it's not easy to find those cards anywhere sorry I'm sticking up for us bad RSVPers out here but the system <laughs> needs to change <laughs> yeah so I think yeah top tip make it as simple yeah. whatever way you decide to go make it really simple for people to do it or they won't do it so make, I think make this your wedding motto what is it k-i-s-s -S, kiss keep it simple <laughs> stupid oh yeah <laughs> good one <laughs> yeah so I think I think that's probably the way the way to do it yeah but yeah, you've got all that to come. I know. Boy. I've got to even think about what the hell I'm going to do for my invitations first, like style-wise, what's going on there. That is hard. So, I, yeah. I think it's quite nice to think about 
maybe the plans you've got on the day or the theme and start giving little hints mm. or I mean you don't have to you could go completely plain if you wanted to but I think yeah. it's quite hard to make it exciting for people how far in advance did you send your invites out actually I remember you had quite a, a, a small engagement small short engagement yes sort of six seven I think it was eight months in all to mm. do the whole thing um I think I put the save for the dates out fairly quickly once we booked the venue and I kind of knew my theme and then I I found the stuff I liked mm. that was quite easy actually the save the dates yeah were quite simple yeah um and I think I sent them out within about two months of being engaged really once I booked the venue I sent them out mm. um because we didn't give people much notice though so I guess yeah maybe, like a year before I think is quite a good idea just to make sure people are, you know can get childcare and all that sort of mm. stuff as well and the time of work and we sent our save the dates out like middle of August and then my plan is to send the invites out in January because I figure everyone who's got say the dates are who we're planning to invite anyway, so they know the date, so they know to put it aside. And then yeah. January will be when I send the actual invitations out, and that's like six months before. Oh, so I think I that's it. really good. I think even like two, three months before mm. is fine, really. So yeah, six months is super, yeah, super organised. Yeah, cool. that'd be fine. Good. Glad to know I'm doing things right. <laughs> but I don't know. Is there is there a set time? I, I, I don't, don't know. Maybe six months is too much this. lead time. I think that's okay I think as long as you put it somewhere safe and mm. people don't drive you mad you're know, saying they've lost stuff or but make I a wedding should... website as well <laughs> yeah if you do a wedding website you'll be you'll be well away <laughs> <laughs> I every possible option so nobody can question anything yeah <laughs> uh, so once you've kind of got all your invites back then then I know we spoke about guest lists in a season one episode so we won't dwell on that too much but the next, the next thing that I'm thinking of is working out. Not, we're not quite at this point yet, but working out where and how we're going to see everybody. Yes. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Before we get into like seating of the actual meal, which is probably the most stressful thing anyone ever faces, I imagine. Let's talk about seating at a ceremony. So yes, so that's a bit more straightforward. Yeah. Isn't it? Do you, did you do the, the? I cannot talk today. Do you, <laughs> did you do the traditional thing of having? Um, Bride's side, bride family on one side, groom's family on the other side. Did you let people sit wherever they want? How did you work it? Well, I we pretty much had let people decide where they want to go, mm. but then people naturally went to a side. Oh, really? That was quite funny because I said to Jack, I, you know, it's really informal. Mm. Don't worry about it too much. It wasn't in the church. Um, but then people naturally did it anyway. Oh, funny. And obviously I wasn't there in the morning. So actually, I don't actually know what he officially did. I think he kind of left people to it, to be honest. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, but people sat that way anyway. So it is funny how you get that because you always do get some of those little seats, you know, the signs, sorry, that say choose a seat, not a side. And, yeah, yeah. But whether or not people actually listen and they just naturally go. Just follow people yeah. they know. Yeah. Well, what will you do? Will you have the traditional way or? No, I think we'll just let people sit where they want to sit. Um, yeah, because ours is in the woods, so we still haven't thought about what people are sitting on yet. Like, I don't know if we're going to do like chairs, benches, maybe hay bales. We need to You've got a lot out. of choice. That's the trouble, isn't it? Yeah. It's hard to have choice actually. So we need to figure that out. But I'm just gonna. I maybe I'll make a sign. I don't know. But I, I, I think I, I just want people to go in. And, I want it to be a really chilled out day. I don't want it to be too formal and too traditional in that sense. I just want it to be very relaxed and. Yeah, Sit where you want. as long as like my family, my like my mum and Russell's mum, like and grandmas and that sort of thing are at the front, so they can see what's happening. Yeah, I don't. Care I would. I would sits. always say, um, like, reserve the front rows mm. and just make it. You know, make somebody in charge to make it really clear that that is for bridal party and family. Because I've had a few weddings where I've been where say like the best mates and stuff have been so excited they've kind of sat and <laughs> up the front seats and stuff. Yeah. Some people don't know, you know. So mm. I think. If, if you want those guaranteed, I think it's always a good idea just to have a few reserves That's for those a good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, I actually forgot to do that. So <laughs> I would say don't forget to do the little <laughs> reserves, tags or, you know, bits yeah. of paper or it doesn't have to be fancy. Does it just say reserved? Mm. It's a good idea. Yeah. I don't think the formalities around the ceremony are such a that bad, are they, in terms of seating? It's just literally making sure the important people are at the front and then yeah that's it isn't it so yeah and it all kind of naturally happens anyway and obviously it depends on the space you've got so some churches are huge and mm. you know you've got loads of choice and other people are a bit more you know cramped in so I think yeah and I guess really you don't really need to do an aisle like you could do a circle 
That's that's a very American thing, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, that's really cool. I've never seen that. I've never I've never photographed one with a circle actually. I figured that'd be quite hard to shoot actually from our point of view. Yeah, it probably <laughs> would. I've done one wedding. It was a human's wedding where they got married under a tree, and um, everyone was just stood around. There was no seats, oh, and that was really nice. sweet. There wasn't a huge amount of guests, but um, yeah, it was a really sweet wedding to be involved in. But that's the only thing that I've done differently to like everyone else has had an aisle like two like two sets of seats each side, and then. Down. yeah perhaps you could have like a swirly <laughs> oh wow yeah you could I mean we had slightly like um so it wasn't straight it was like a kind of the seats were kind of oh, yeah. side racing so like triangular that was as crazy as we went <laughs> but um but yeah you don't I mean that's a nice thing you can think outside the box really mm. I don't think registrars would stop you doing that would they I wouldn't have thought so as long as, you, as, long as like your final destination is under that roof <laughs> yes yeah you know if you like if it's a legal ceremony under the under the on that in a building with foundations under a roof isn't that what it is yes and I think if it's outside it has to be underneath the yeah roof, doesn't it so but celebrant layers you can do whatever the hell you want can't you so yeah enough, re- <laughs> enough reason to do it <laughs> <laughs> I'm terribly biased <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah yeah no, it's, it's that's the thing when you start going with this kind of thing it, it's a lot to think yeah, about isn't it <laughs> too much too many ideas yeah <laughs> but I think just do it a little bit at a time as well don't let things overwhelm you yeah so let's talk about seating plans oh dun, dun, dun. oh well I put off doing mine right up until basically the caterers were like we need your seating plan <laughs> right and I needed to like draw and paint and sort out the mm. actual table plan we were going to show people so, so what and that was, was the what only was your reason technique? did you like use paper plates oh. and post-it notes yeah I literally I'd already kind of I wanted to do like a chalkboard table mm-hmm. plan so I'd already painted the because we'd had a long table so I'd already painted that and then it was just a process of writing everybody's name down and then we just for hours shuffled and then I think I'd get it right and Jack would look at it and go no 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 and then he'd move it and, <laughs> and I think after a while you have to say right well that's it because there's yeah. always somebody who's going to be a bit unhappy and mm-hmm. that was because everybody you know circular tables probably are a bit easier to be honest um, because you know normally you can put couples and, and that's yeah, kind of yeah. the whole table but with long ones you've got to think about who they're opposite mm-hmm. and who's that way and that way and that can get quite hard so I hope yeah. everyone liked where they sat but oh it was horrible it's so funny that it's such a stressful thing when it's literally like two hours of people's lives like and people yeah. read so much into like where they're sitting I've been to weddings where like the table at the back are like oh can't believe we're sat at the back and it's oh. like well you're on a table and you're getting free food <laughs> And that's the trouble. And there's always going to be somebody at the front and somebody at the back. Yeah. And it's it's so hard. Yeah. And you don't want to offend, but you kind of, someone has to be there. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's yeah. so funny. I just find it it's hilarious how it's like literally like two hours of your day, but it can be such a stressful, such a yeah. like difficult thing for like people to get their heads around. I, th- I think and people can take it so personally. Why? They can. And I, I think don't, really try not to take it personally from the bride and groom like they're trying their best and yeah. you know and it, you just you do have to draw a line somewhere mm. you, so I think I think kind of stick to your guns a little bit so once you've decided I know certain people might look at it and say oh can you move me I, I think try not to give in too much because mm. otherwise you'll be doing it forever yeah yeah I think maybe that's another reason to kind of leave it quite near to the end too and then people can't interfere especially I've heard a few parents and stuff interfering mm. and you know yeah. you don't want to get used really I don't think I'll show anyone my table plan I think I'll just do it yeah I agree I, I think that's probably the best but way I'm going to have the similar issues with you in, in that we're having long tables so we've got to work out I've re- I guess people are kind of in my head are sat in sixes although the tables are joined I'm thinking yeah. of tables are six like opposite each other and then in a long line is what's yeah. in my head but it's working out exactly who's going to be where and and another option that are because this is the thing it's really hard to imagine because our marquee man gave us all these ideas for how we have our tables I knew I wanted something lo- I didn't want to do round I wanted long tables of some form and he said we could either do like three rows of just long tables or we could yeah. do like herringbone smaller tables so we could okay. have like tables of 12 kind of going I'm trying to oh. show on YouTube like that like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be a bit more interesting like this maybe yeah um, so I may look into that idea oh this fly and then um, what about the top table? Yes, so that was hard. So we, on the top table, because I've got, I had lots of bridesmaids and I've got lots of brothers and sisters and I thought it was going to get really complicated. So we just literally had us two and then both sets of parents and that was it. Mm-hmm. 
and I didn't put any bridesmaids or anything on there because I didn't want favoritism and yeah so I just said parents and that's it and then everybody else was kind of at the n- nearer to us like bridal party mm-hmm. and then friends and did you have that traditional top table so like was it six seats facing yes. the rest of your so, tables yeah so we were kind of facing out and then everybody else was feeding off yeah like us yeah facing them mm-hmm. so yeah so that that was quite traditional actually yeah how did you feel sat there during that part of the meal like that do you feel like everyone's watching you no I didn't actually I've always wondered that about top tables because you're so exposed because <laughs> one yeah. side of your table isn't there yeah I, mean? I I think because they were kind of facing each other and then my table this is this is not good for radio is it really <laughs> trying to like um but yeah because because everyone was kind of off us Mm-hmm. they were all sort of sideways so I didn't feel like they were watching us at all really because yeah. they were looking at each other mm-hmm. so that was fine and no it was, it was just more weird like thinking that I'm getting married this is so so weird <laughs> <laughs> and speeches and stuff was quite surreal because obviously we're used to photographing that and yeah having someone else photograph you and you're like I'm this, that was that was quite Try weird to laugh attractively <laughs> I know like <laughs> I look like delighted all the time and, <laughs> and then trying to cry like nicely and like yeah. not like completely <laughs> So, yeah. I think I'm going to problems with my top table and I'm trying to figure out what to do. There's a few things I want to write tables actually. Like um so I've got divorced parents, so Russell's side is normal. He's got a mum and a dad. <laughs> so I've got <laughs> I've got a mum, a stepdad, my dad and my dad's partner. So mm-hmm. that's gonna be a very wonky top table to start with. Um so my other theory was if we don't do that, we could always have our parents hosting a table. Yeah. So that'd that's be nice. probably where I'm gonna go for. I don't know if that will offend parents. But then also, I don't want us to just be sat on our own. Yeah, you know we'd be I like mean? the Posh and Bex. Like yeah, a have a little stairs. sweetheart table. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a wedding before where they've had a sweetheart table and it was really cute, but then they just yeah. look so lonely, just the two of them. Oh, it's like you have to talk to me now. This yeah, is great. which is it's probably quite, quite nice. nice. Yeah, because you do yeah. get a chance to talk to each other. But I don't know. I think I'd rather be on a table with people than I would be on my own. So I don't know whether we'll have a top table. Perhaps we'll just get involved in the mix and... Yeah, you don't have to, I mean, especially with circular tables. Sometimes I just see the bride and groom sitting with like. Mm. But I think you know, it would work better in a circular table situation. But because we're having long tables, it's hard. I isn't don't it? really know how to do it. And maybe we have a table with just the best man and an usher, and then my two bridesmaids. Yeah, and not have parents at all. But then yeah, my bridesmaids have a half, so I've got to sit without them. Oh yeah, that might not be so it's nice. It's hard, one. isn't it? How do you work it out? That's the thing. It's when you get partners and stuff, and then mm. you don't want people to be lonely. And yeah, it is very tricky. Oh, sorry. It's so tough. Um, yeah, this is a bigger subject I, than I thought when we decided to talk about this. Oh no, it's <laughs> going to freak you out. Now you'll come off and be like, oh. No, I think if you if you write things down as well. I mean, I'm a sucker for a, a to do list or mm-hmm. writing things down. I think in your in your brain, it always seems a lot more. So I think get it written down. Maybe yeah. have a little diagram and have a play around with names and stuff, mm-hmm. and then it should come naturally. But because you have choice, that actually makes it tougher. Yeah, I think if, if a venue say you can either have that table or that table, and yeah. it goes there normally, and then all your decisions are pretty much done, aren't they? Yeah, but it's you're, true. You're from scratch, so it's personal, but a bit mm. harder. Oh, it's a nightmare. You'll get there. You'll get there. <laughs> don't worry. It's all these politics you don't think about when you're planning a wedding. <laughs> It's going to have a nice yeah. day with all my family. I know, it's going to have a big party and that's it really. But <laughs> yeah, so you'll be okay. So, yeah, I hope, I hope we've kind of helped. I don't know if we I think what we've done is panic people more and made them more confused. What I've done is freak you out. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know what to do. And then, yeah, made everyone panic. So. It would be really interesting to hear everybody's opinion on this, actually. So if you're listening and you've, you're married... We'd love to hear what you've done. I would love to hear what you've done. <laughs> yeah. Jerry, Jerry would like to send me some tips. <laughs> I need all the help I can have. What I would love to hear from people who had parents host tables, especially people with like... Diff- My parents, luckily, uh, although they're uh, divorced, they got on. So it's not like if I sat them on the same table, they'd kill each other. Yeah. It, it would That's be fine. Difficult. Yeah, stressful if you've got that situation. But I can imagine if you've got divorced parents that don't get on, and I'd like to see how you handled that. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, somebody's out there who would like to let us know what they did. Yeah, we could have a bride come on talk to us live on air. We'd love that. If, if, if there's a bride out there, past or present, who would like to have a chat with us, we would we would yeah. love that. We'll help you solve your wedding difficulties. <laughs> or, <try. laughs> or not. Probably stress you out and make you worry. <laughs> we'll overcomplicate it. it further like we have done today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> but yeah, no, give us give us a um, a message or Facebook us yeah. or something. You, you can leave us a voicemail like. on our website if you go to the web page. You can click on the voicemail button and just leave us a little question. Um, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube so you can see our yes. beautiful faces. <laughs> I've put makeup on now, so you have to. <laughs> I've made such effort. <laughs> Oh. Well, it's been lovely see- seeing, not seeing, listening, not listening, talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's been lovely talking to you all today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our conversation about invites and RSVPs and all that complicated stuff. And yes. that it's complicated you as much as it has me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's stressed everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back next week. So we shall see you yeah. then. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to Get Wed. We hope you enjoyed us babbling on. And if you did, we'd love for you to let us know. Head to getwedpodcast.co.uk, hit review and leave your comments. We hope to see you next time. Happy Happy planning! planning.